Greetings, YouTubers, friends. If you're joining us recently, I wear a hat sometimes. It somewhat connotes Quakers, if you didn't know that. But doesn't have to. Could also connote Western, like South, Southwest or Northwest. Actually, in Portland, hats like this are not really the style. <clears throat> I kind of stick out with this hat. But my friend Glenn, he's a true Southwesterner, even though he lived in St. Helens nearby. In his younger years, he grew up pretty much in Page, and he wears a hat all the time. And he sort of got me into the hat business. But I was into hats actually going back before that. There's a hat thing going on. So we're kind of a subculture an ethnicity that no one wants to teach our math. They'll take our taxes, but they won't teach our math. So we've been creating our own circuits, basically, our own math circuits. It's not just about math, right? It's like there was this futurist, very popular in the day, named Arbuck Mr. Fuller. You might have heard of him. He's now credited for, quote, popularizing the dome. But they overlook something called the concentric hierarchy of whole number volumes, which, as I've said, includes some irrational number volumes. So what we've got going here is picture of Spaceship Earth uh, in... Okay, so this is Nature magazine talking about how operating for manual for Spaceship Earth has been influential and the thing is the thesis of that work the the working hypothesis is we've gotten so specialized that everyone's powerless because nobody really has the authority to like steer anymore and it's another way of saying maybe that it's cybernetic a lot of what's going on it's kinda of like a giant game of Ouija board maybe so what is it that we should do in order to get something done like get our literature, our thinking shared in a school context if like the public schools don't want to touch this stuff, which is the status quo has been for a while. That's why I call this verboten math. Look in any textbook if you don't believe me, right? So we have our own set of websites, and they dovetail. So it's not like there's a antipathy between what I'll call all the math before this and Martian math. It's just more. It's just more of the same. It's got some different assumptions, but you're allowed to have that. Like math has room for different systems, different paradigms. It's never been a problem. So I don't see this as challenging, quote, math, but what is challenging are these institutions that set themselves up as guardians of the curriculum. And we've had to work around them to some degree in order to, like, perpetuate what you might even call Quakerism, although I know a lot of Quakers who aren't interested in any of this at all. But we're, we're, we've always had a lot of forks and branches in our tradition. So my fork represents um, a faction that took, took up with American transcendentalism in a big way. And that would include, include, that would include a lot more people than just Bucky Fuller, right? His great aunt would be in that group. And if you know your history, it's a, a lineage. You could say, I don't know if you want to call it a movement. I think lineage works better. But in any case, there's a lot to communicate in this curriculum, and I'm glad of things like YouTube for how that makes it easier to create a school and then people have a personal workspace to uh, pick up the skills, what I call calculator of tomorrow, which is just what you can do with a laptop these days, right? And I use a programming language and stuff like that. So it's just very contemporary and welcome if you're interested. There's lots of YouTubes in this channels so just poke around, you can watch them at random and gradually you'll see 
why I think Fuller was making sense about operating manual for Spaceship Earth. I feel like it's like so why is it so difficult to um, get his thinking more shared when everyone has this sort of he was a great guy uh, attitude. It's like if his stuff can't get into the schools, whose can, really? And so there's a lot of questions and cross-cultural questions. It's not all about, you know, any one particular education system. I don't want to say all the stress is somehow on the Oregon system or any other system. I'm just, as an Oregonian, I've, I've had a response to it all. It's like, okay, I'll, I'll show you a way that we can get this stuff phased in. Here it is. It's not that, it's not that crazy. It's pretty easy, actually, to see how this slips in. So my, my offering's on the table, but other regions will have their own response and it's not a uni effort. It's not uni, It's not just on on me to do do everything. I'm just giving examples, as are other people. So check it out. Visit the various websites, and see what you think. Talk to you later.